How are you guys doing? Uh, my name is Peter, and I'm with Heroes Character Rental and Action Heroes LA. What we're doing here is a cost-effective uh, backpack for Black Widow or Natasha. Now, as you remember, we have our pieces here, front and back. Because of how her backpack works, it actually gets thinner at the bottom. It's going to get thinner here. Uh, I did a couple things to find out what was going on. I went ahead and I cut one of our pieces, and I thought they were hollow. They're actually solid. Really easy to cut through. That was the squeegee. That, that was the squeegee. As... Her battle sticks actually go in the top here and then come down. Measuring the stick, that's actually about 10 inches. I made the sticks a little bit longer because people have to actually pull it. So you don't want them do, trying to do this to pull it. Reach, yeah. Easy reach. Yeah. I did this, but this cut you can still do with a Dremel, but Dremels cost a lot. But if you have one of those like Ginzu knives or something like that in your kitchen drawer, you don't mind, just you can do that. Anything you got very easy to cut through. Remember I said we want to put a tube inside of it? I cut the tube and you can see it's really gnarly on one end. So you have a good end. The good end is going to be the side that actually comes out of here. Yeah. The other end, don't worry about it. Don't worry about cleaning Nobody's it up. It, Nobody will ever see it. Again, at the dollar store, I got one of these. Well, I actually got two of them. That's the two from inside here. Cut this piece, this piece of paper off. Unrolled it. And like I said, if mom, wifey, dad, whoever likes to decorate, you know. Yeah, this is uh, for the kitchen uh, kitchen drawers. I took mm -hmm. I took this and I measured it out just under three inches. This piece is 12 inches, and I could do three of them. But then I kept looking at this, and I even put it onto this, and I said, wow, that is a wide backpack. Mm -hmm. I don't want my backpack that wide, but I have to have it wide enough for this. What else goes into 12? Three. And it goes in four times. So I could actually have four pieces. So I'm going to glue those on here, and I still have plenty room at the sides. I mean, that's longer than a, like a paper towel roll, and it looks like it might be more sturdy than one, too. Definitely. Yeah. But the other thing is, is that it's smaller. Pretty much fits perfectly in there. Yeah. At the dollar stores, they also have a tube similar to this, maybe a little bit thicker, mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit smaller tube but it's on the trash bags. <laughs> so you can get those. You can always use trash yeah. bags. These will fit right in. Mm -hmm. Especially if you don't try to shove it through. So we're gonna cut these pieces. And again, we're gonna use our straight edge. And now we're gonna make four. With this one. Yeah, you originally said there were three inch pieces. You were talking about four inch pieces. So they're four gonna be they're, they're these are gonna be four inch pieces. Now these are three inch pieces. I always do my math and like Tony Stark, I'm always right. I never make a mistake. Ah. But that just means that I'm going to repurpose this for something else. Repurpose. So now we have our four pieces, and of course, we'll have to cut them down to what these go on to, but we have our pieces. Now, to remember, to glue them, we're going to use contact cement. Contact cement, in case you're, you're, not, uh, you're not familiar with it, you put it on one side, and then you put it on the other surface that you're going to glue to. Mm. You wait about... Oh, you can wait as little as 10 to 15 minutes, or you can wait as much as two hours. Mm -hmm. I like to usually give it about 20 minutes mm -hmm. before I stick it together. Ah. There's the, the reason I like to do that is so that it has a good contact and I make sure that both sides have dried. Mm -hmm. So 
that's a little trick that you, that you want to have because if they're not dried and you put them together, guess what? The heat of the day, the heat of your body could actually make it separate. It could reactivate the glue and it'll, and your okay. piece will start to fall apart mm -hmm. and you don't want that. Oh, that's interesting. It's like when you glue something, you might think I got to immediately stick it together before it dries. You know, Not so with contact cement. Oh, okay. It's a totally different animal. Uh. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a little covering. Maybe I'll take a sheet of paper here. And I'll put it down here. So that when I start to put glue on my pieces, I don't get glue everywhere. Now this one comes with its own little... Um, brush kind of wipe some of that to the side and you put it on okay now the other thing you're going to do is you're going to put it on this surface because you're going to want this piece to actually glue inside right, yeah okay you don't want to have it glue out here oh this is you interesting you can okay but I just don't want that edge there. But here's the real cool thing. If you do it that way, you're going to get this edge. Mm -hmm. And so, you can just glue it down here. But the problem is, I'm going to show you a different way to get these nice details in here mm -hmm. and how they're going to work for you. But again, if you just want to put it around the edge to make it decorative, that's up to you. It's not the exact thing, which usually cosplay, that's what they're actually going for. But it's as close to it as you can get. Because remember, when you actually see Black Widow on film, she's going to be moving like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not going to pay attention. Nobody's going to really pay attention to that. But you do want to still get some nice detail in there for when people, uh, especially in my case, for Heroes Character rent Rental or Action uh, Heroes, LA. Heroes LA, well, after a while, you're going to be standing around and people are going to see that. But when they see it, it's a great selling point. Yeah. They like to take pictures with our characters, so we want something that... Looks good enough in pictures and is functional uh, for when we do the uh, fight scenes at the parties for, for the kids. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to prepare these. But what I want to do is I want to measure each one of these out and put my pieces there. Now, you'll see that once I've done that, well, I could either come at an angle and cut these so that when they match up together, they're perfect. Or I can leave them at a 90 degree kind of. At a 90 degree like this, which isn't perfect, but you can come back with uh, some of the caulking that I showed you at one of the at one of the dollar stores. And you can actually smooth that on there. Oh, really? So yeah. you don't have to cut it at 90 degrees. You don't have to. You can kind of fill it in. And you can fill it in. And then you're going to wait a couple days, and then you're going to paint over it. Because, okay. unfortunately, the caulking is white. Okay. So it's going to show up on this. But you can but, you can cut it later. Yeah. But me, yeah. I'm going to cut it at angles because yeah. I don't want to see that. And... One of the tricks I'm going to show you is now I've all I've bought black because her suit and her backpack is is black. But some things I'm going to paint on her suit or on this backpack. Why? Because if I just put all black, it's going to just blend in. But by one, using the rough and buff, which you, you'll see me use that to make some of these 
detailed scratches or things that will look like, make it look like it's metal that's been scratched or worn in that place. Um, some of you are Star Wars fans. If you've ever actually seen the Darth Vader costume and mask up close, there are actually three, three color blacks on there. Black doesn't just come in black. There's satin black. There's flat black. There's uh, gloss black. Um, there's a matte, which is different from a flat. Really? It's a little bit different. There's um, semi-gloss, too. There's yeah. semi-gloss. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of different blacks. And, of course, then there's a canyon black. There's a oil black. Oh. There's all kinds of different blacks. When you do that, it does not all of a sudden disappear in this one black blob. Kind of like us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. it, make, it, makes, uh, it makes it easier for the camera to see. It makes it easier for the eye to see. And that's why Darth Vader's face doesn't just look like a black blob. You can't see the differences in color, but there are, and the camera picks it up, your eyes pick it up, and that helps give it dimension, or the dimension that it does have. 